Newton's understanding of gravity was good enough to allow us to fly from the Earth to the moon. But it's, it's kind of got to make you laugh to think that you can go all the way to the moon and back using something that's ultimately just an approximation. Humans have a fascination with the idea of traveling backward or forward in time. Time travel contraptions and gadgets have been a common theme in numerous science fiction and fantasy story catering to our longing to alter the past, improve our lives, or fast forward to discover if the future holds better prospects. Despite our technological and scientific strides, the reality remains. We're far from achieving time travel or manipulation. It's unlikely we'll ever witness the majestic dinosaurs roaming the Earth, experience life in ancient Egypt, or observe the evolution of new organisms in a future without humans on our beloved planet. Ever pondered why a time machine might elude us? One reason could be that time itself might not exist. It might sound a bold claim, but that's the assertion recently put forth by Brian Cox. So let's delve into why some physicists entertain the idea that time is a construct confined to our minds. The Oxford Dictionary defines time as the indefinite continued progress of existence and events in the past, present, and future regarded as a whole. But is time only that? Definitely not, at least according to our physicists. Albert Einstein, a brilliant mind of our era, proposed that time is the fourth dimension. Yet, one could argue that Einstein also suggested everything in the universe is relative, making time potentially irrelevant. In the best-selling book, The Secret, the authors assert, time is just an illusion. However, physicists have repeatedly shown that time is a measurable, observable phenomenon. Still, we remain uncertain about what makes time exist and be measurable, leading to the conclusion that time is a product of our collective imagination. This question straddles the realms of metaphysics and ontology, just as much as it delves into the empirical queries about time that physics is well equipped to tackle. Yet there's no other way to put it. Our understanding of physics is in turmoil. Everything we comprehend about the universe might be flawed or misunderstood. For nearly a century, physicists have relied on two highly successful theories, general relativity and quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics explains the workings of the tiny particle world, while general relativity details the broader view of gravity and object motion. The issue is that these theories, though individually successful, directly clash with each other. It's perplexing, isn't it? The foundational theories we use to explain the universe don't align, implying there might be a flaw in our understanding. Yet the nature of the conflict between quantum mechanics and the theory of relativity is somewhat controversial. Nevertheless, the general agreement within the scientific community is that we should replace both theories with something new and more universal, a theory capable of elucidating both quantum mechanics and gravity simultaneously, avoiding their mutual contradiction. In essence, such a theory would elucidate how the grand scheme of gravity operates on the minute scale of particles. However, this task is no walk in the park. Crafting a theory of quantum gravity poses an exceptionally challenging endeavor. You might wonder, what about string theory? Well, that's a valid point, but string theory faces its own set of challenges. The hitch with string theory is that it presents various models of the universe, yet it lacks substantial experimental evidence to discern which model is correct. In simple terms, string theory raises more questions than it answers. Now, if you're thinking, hold on, how does this relate to time? Well, it's interconnected. When string theory fell short of providing answers, scientists delved into alternative avenues during the 80s and 90s, unveiling a range of new mathematical approaches to quantum gravity. The most notable among these innovations was loop quantum gravity. It successfully integrates both quantum and gravity aspects. However, there was another notable aspect of loop quantum gravity. It seems to eliminate time altogether. Loop quantum gravity, or LQG, suggests that the fabric of space and time consists of an intricate network of extremely small discrete chunks or loops. In the Principia, Newton distinguished two notions of time. The first, which he termed the common one, aligns with the previous item. 
The second, labeled the true one, corresponds to what later became known as Newtonian time. Newtonian time is presumed to flow uniformly, even when events are dormant, unaffected by occurrences, and possesses a metric structure. In LQG, Newtonian time only surfaces as an approximation. It plays no role in the theory's foundational principles. Loop quantum gravity is not the sole contender in discarding time. Several other approaches also seem to exclude time as a fundamental aspect of reality. In 1927, Sir Arthur Eddington introduced the phrase the arrow of time in his book, The Nature of the Physical World. By this, he meant the notion that time progresses in a single direction, akin to a river, while dimensions of space lack preferred directions or orientations. He outlined three characteristics of the arrow of time. Time is vividly recognized by consciousness, equally emphasized by our reasoning faculty, determining that reversing the arrow of time would be illogical. And lastly, time plays no role in physical science, except in studying the organization of a group of individuals. Here, the arrow signifies the direction of progressive increase in the random element. The final point relates to the physicality of time or time's arrow. The unique characteristic of the arrow of time is its orientation toward increasing entropy, as elucidated in the second law of thermodynamics. Natural, time-driven processes cause decay in elements within our universe, and regaining order spontaneously requires substantial effort. Eddington's mention that time plays no role in physical science, except in studying the organization of individuals, is quite specific despite time being prevalent in physics. Time and entropy are interconnected. In the distant past, the universe possessed high order, indicating low entropy. Due to natural laws, entropy consistently increases, simplifying the concept that the arrow of time is entropy. Besides asserting that time is an illusion, the secret authors also claim the absence of time and size in the universe. Quantum physicists and Einstein propose that everything occurs simultaneously. Most scientists vehemently refute these claims. Time is an integral element of the universe. The linear concept of time is intertwined with the second law of thermodynamics, considered by many physicists as a pivotal law in all of physics. Without time as a genuine property of the universe, the second law loses its meaning. Through his theory of relativity, Einstein demonstrated that time is not an absolute quantity on its own. Instead, time and space are intricately linked to create spacitime, serving as an absolute measure. This measure can be precisely utilized in mathematical terms to understand how diverse physical processes in distinct locations interact. Einstein firmly asserted that past, present, and future do not occur simultaneously, contrary to a scenario without time. In line with his equation E equals make caret 2, which indicates that information cannot travel faster than the speed of light, Einstein acknowledged the fundamental role of time. Without time, anything could potentially match the speed of light, a scenario disproven by his findings. Each point in spacetime is restricted in its ability to communicate with other regions. The notion that everything unfolds simultaneously directly contradicts Einstein's conclusions. Lee Smolin's 2013 book, Time Reborn. From the crisis in physics to the future of the universe, argues that science often treats time as an illusion. To address this, a theory encompassing quantum mechanics, quantum physics, spacetime, and gravity is needed, a challenge referred to as quantum gravity. Einstein, in reflecting on the passing of his friend Michel Besso, conveyed, now he has departed this strange world a little ahead of me. It signifies nothing. For us believing physicists, the distinction between past, present, and future is only a stubbornly persistent illusion. Many physicists assert that Einstein's statement wasn't merely an attempt at solace. Einstein's standpoint is inferred from the two key tenets of modern physics, Einstein's magnum opus, the general theory of relativity, and the standard model of particle physics. The principles governing these theories are time-symmetric, meaning the physics they depict remains consistent whether time increases or decreases. 
These physicists have come to terms with the concept of a block universe, contending that the physicist's role is to delineate how the universe appears from individual observers' perspectives. The block universe envisions a static block of space-time, suggesting that any perception of time's flow or passage through it is likely a mental construct or illusion. However, opposing physicists vehemently disagree, asserting that physics should elucidate not only how time seems to elapse, but also why. For them, the universe isn't static. The passage of time is tangible. Lee Smolin, for instance, argues that we should regard time as a fundamentally real entity. Taking it seriously in this way, we might unveil laws of physics that undergo evolution over time. Whether this appeal will genuinely yield fresh insights into the foundations of physics remains uncertain. Share your thoughts in the comments. Do you believe time is real or not, and why?